A student at the University of York is one of the two Chinese citizens who have tested positive for the coronavirus in the UK, although the university said it had been advised there was a low risk of the infection being passed on to anyone else on campus. A team from Public Health England says it's making good progress in tracking down anyone who came into close contact with the pair. Well, let's go live now to Aisha Tull, who's in York. Aisha. Yes, earlier today, York University confirmed that news and they've urged people to remain calm. And if they're feeling ill at all, they can contact the emergency services. We've been on campus all day and even in the toilets, there's advice on what to do. If you've been in Wuhan in the last 14 days, all of the flu advice and good hygiene about washing your hands. And if you feel a little bit more ill to contact the emergency services. Now, developments in China have been that 259 people are confirmed to have died. And the international response continues to be to remove their citizens away from mainland China. And in the last hour, Russia have said that they are going to do that. Now, back in York, I've been speaking to students about their reaction that the coronavirus is a a little bit closer to them. These students are some of the many we saw wearing face masks for protection. The news that one of the first coronavirus cases in the UK is a student here has hit campus. Broadcasting to your university. You are live. The music keeps coming thick and fast now. Here's Teenage Fan Club with Ain't That Enough. I heard the story when I was on the train up uh, and then slowly but surely found out that it wasn't only um, you know, in York, but it was actually in the hotel where I was staying at as well. Are you worried at all? Are you concerned? No, not really. Um, I'm, I've been told it's, it's sort of less infectious than, than common colds and things like that. So, not really, no. But across campus, not all students felt this way. Some were a little bit more cautious. This virus uh, spread uh, really quickly in China and uh, I asked my family, uh, they're all fine and they're just staying in home and uh, I think they'll be fine and I think the virus will be gone soon. The university say they're working with health authorities to contain the risk to other students and staff. Public Health England has advised us that the risk of an infection being passed to others on campus is low. The university is open and will continue to operate normally. I feel a little bit worried because it spreads so much and so quickly. Sang Hongyi is one of the many international students here. His mum, who's a doctor in China, has told him to wear a face mask. I think that more and more people should wear, wear such masks. Wearing a mask don't, don't mean that they are bad people or some, some, something. They just need to protect on something themselves from the virus. How are you? Over 100 miles away in the rural, the 83 people flown in from Wuhan have spent their first night in isolation. We have arrived at quarantine. One of them is Irish teacher Ben Kavanagh. We first spoke to him last weekend when he was trapped in Wuhan. It's close to 40 hours anyway since I left my apartment. Um, hopefully that's not the last time I see it. Hopefully I get to go back when this is all over. Uh, but yeah, definitely need a shower. That's one good thing about the masks, where you can't smell anyone else, even though we've all, we probably all smell disgusting. So they're constantly bringing food in, which is good. Lovely, fresh salad. They give us the TV. TV's working. Bit of entertainment as well. Grand. Outside of the UK, the United States and Australia put travel bans in place. Both orders temporarily stop entry for most foreign nationals who've travelled to China in the last 14 days. The head of the World Health Organization had advised against such restrictions. Probably a good choice to come home. Let's just hope we can all get through this and let's hope everyone in Wuhan stays well. For Ben, it's now 13 days and counting until he can leave quarantine. Shouldn't be too hard for two weeks. And he hopes he can eventually return to Wuhan once the virus is no longer a risk. Well, earlier I spoke at greater length to Ben Kavanagh over a bit of a ropey internet connection in quarantine in the Wirral. It's been compared by one newspaper to cold its. Um, it sounds like it couldn't be further from the truth, but... To cold its? Oh, God, no, not a chance. See, that's what we thought at first. We thought maybe it would be something like that. Uh, but no, it's absolutely... It's grand. It's absolutely no complaints. It's really... It's, it's nicer than we thought it was going to be, and it is absolutely lovely. 
And do you feel that you've got enough privacy that you can get out and get fresh air if you want? Or, or are you feeling slightly, you know, is it, has cabin fever set in yet? Well, it's only, it's not even been a whole day yet. And if you wanted to, you could just completely stay in your own bedroom for the two weeks and they would bring food to your room. Or you can get up and you can walk around the building and there's a communal area in the middle where all the food is delivered and brought to. So that's where people went for breakfast. And just outside is a, is a tiny little courtyard that if you wanted to go out for a cigarette or just a tiny walk around, you can't leave the compound or, or the little area outside. But if you wanted to get some fresh air, you can just go out to the little courtyard that uh, you can see in the video. So is there a kind of camaraderie developing amongst the group there? Um, well, we're all in the same boat, aren't we? So no one's trying to make enemies. It's, it's hard to describe because some people don't, you, maybe some people don't want to get involved at all because obviously we don't want to spread it because we have no idea if any of us are infected. As of right now, we don't think anyone is, but uh, we're all in the same boat. So we're all trying to get along as best we can. And what have you been told about what would happen if you tried to leave the facility? Oh, I mean, I don't think I, I didn't ask because no one's going to leave. It's quarantine. We, we knew what the situation was when we were signing. We had to sign a, uh, not a, we had to sign, uh, not a contract, but we had to sign something to get our boarding pass. And that was the, the piece of paper said, you know that if you accept this boarding pass, you will be in quarantine in the UK for two weeks. So we all knew what we were getting in for. No one, no one asked to leave. No one, no one wants to leave. What do you think would happen, though, if someone got so sort of felt so under pressure psychologically, I guess, from being cooped up all that time? What what have you been told about what the consequences might be? Uh, well, haven't been told anything about consequences. I didn't ask, but I don't think we even could. I think we're surrounded by a railing, so and the railing's locked. I don't think there is a way out unless you scale a fence. But again, I don't, we're not, it's not like we're cooped up. It's nothing like cold. It's, it's, it's a lovely, it's a lovely student accommodation. It, you don't feel, I feel more free now than I did in Wuhan because I was only in my apartment. But now I can go out of my apartment, go into the kitchen or go into the communal area. In fact, I just had a game of pool in the communal area. I was wearing gloves and a mask and, you know, it's, it's grand. And would you ha would you like to go back to Wuhan immediately? You can. Are you do you feel sort of concerned about the students that you've had to leave behind? Oh yeah, the second I'm able to go back to Wuhan, I will. The second the flights become available, at the second the schools reopen, I I will. We've even I don't know I I know a few jobs have been told that maybe online classes will start to take place rather than school teaching. So. Um, if that's the case, then that's probably what I'll do as well. What are your concerns about people left in Wuhan? I am worried for them, but I, I still feel the same way. If I was still there, I'd probably still feel the same way, you know, just calm, continue to take the right precautions. But uh, I just hope that uh, everyone that is infected will come out of this the right way. Ben Kavanagh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you.